In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question, ransom note. So the problem statement is given an arbitrary ransom note string and another string containing letters from all the magazines. We have to write a function that will return true if the ransom note can be constructed from the magazines, otherwise it will return false. And each letter in the magazine string can only be used once in your ransom note. For example, if the uh, magazine contains uh, this letter a we can use only one instance of a in our ransom note and uh, if the magazine contains the two instance of a then we can use the two instance of a in your ransom note so we can't use like uh, three letters here so only two letters are there in magazine so at most we can use two letters in 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 the ransom note and you may assume that both string contain only lowercase letters so now uh, let's see the example to understand this problem statement better so in the first example the magazine contain only letter b so can we construct a ransom note with letter a no we can't construct a ransom note with letter a as it is not present in the magazine so we return false in the second example uh, the magazine contains two letters a and b and can we construct a ransom note with two letters of a a is only present once in a magazine but here we are using two instances of a so we can't construct this ransom note we return false and in the third example the magazine contain a twice and b once and in the ransom note we have used a twice so it's valid we can construct a ransom note with uh, two instances of a so uh, we return true so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem let's discuss our first approach in this problem we can construct our ransom note if and only if the word is available in magazine so what we can do is we can first traverse this magazine string and create a map of character and its count then we know available character and its count and after that we can traverse this random uh, ransom note string and check whether character is available for ransom note or not so let's see so first uh, let's traverse this magazine string and now assume this is the input so this is the input string for magazine and ransom note so let's traverse this magazine string and uh, create a key value pair of character and its count and uh, in hash map key is always unique let's create a map of key uh, map of character and its count and here is the code for that so what we are doing here is so we are traversing this string and we pick each character at a time so we pick first a and then we check whether this character is present in a map so if this character is present in a map give me its previous count else its default value which is zero and then we put them in a map so we put a with count one and when we move to next character and again we do the same process we check whether this character is present in a map yes so its previous count is one let's add one to it and then put them in a map and so now the count is two and uh, then we reach at this character and again we do the same process and we put them in a map with b and its count now we know all the character and its count present in a magazine so the next step is to traverse this ransom note string and check whether the character is present in a map and if it's present whether its uh, count is greater than uh, zero if it is not greater than zero or if it is not present in a map it means we can't construct this ransom note and we return false so i am traversing this string and so let's say the first character is a then we have check here is this uh, is this uh, map contains this key uh, yes and is this map uh, I mean uh, the value corresponding to this key is greater than equal to zero if any of these condition is failed then return false else what we can do is we can uh, take this uh, take the value of this character and uh, subtract it with uh, one so we decrement its value so now the new value is one and now the next character is a again this condition fails 
and so we skip this condition and we reach at this statement and we pick its value so and we decremented it and put them back in a map so after that we came out of this loop and we returned true as we can construct this ransom note uh, from the characters available in a magazine so this is the one way to solve this problem and now let's talk about its time and space complexity now suppose if we consider uh, the length of ransom node as n and the length of magazine is m so its time complexity is n plus m and what about its space complexity its space complexity is om we are using extra space in the form of hash map and we are putting all the character and its count of magazine in this hash map so the time complexity is n plus m and its space complexity is om now let's see our next approach in which we solve this problem in constant space in our previous approach we have solved this problem by using hash map so we can solve this problem by using fixed size array so we are only using lowercase letters so we can uh, take a fixed size array of length 26 and based on the sky value we reach at that index and increment its count and when we uh, traverse this ransom node string we check whether the value is uh, value is present at that index and is it uh, greater than zero if it is then we can construct this uh, ransom node so let's see how so uh, we have declared an array of length 26 so its indexes uh, are from uh, is from 0 to 25 and then what we can do is we can traverse this uh, magazine uh, string and uh, so the sk value of a is 97 and the sk value of b is 98 and it it goes up to 122 so what we can do is we have declared an array of size 26 so the sk value of a is 97 and if we subtract it from 97 it may we have to go at 0th index and the initial value at this index is 0 so we have incremented to 1 so we have used here primitive type so whenever we uh, declare anything of primitive type their default value their initial value is 0 so uh, initial value at each index is uh, 0 and then uh, similarly uh, the next character is a so again let's increment its value and the next character is b so the sk value of b is 98 and if we subtract 97 we reach at first index and increment its count so now we are done with this uh, with this string magazine so we came out of this loop and the next step is to traverse this ransom note string and when we traverse this ransom node string so the first character is a so we go at that index first we decrement its value and we check whether after decrement after decrementing its value whether it is less than zero if it is less than zero it means uh, this character is not available uh, for constructing a ransom node and if it is greater than equal to zero it means this uh, this uh, character is available for constructing our ransom node so it is greater than equal to zero so we can use this character to construct our ransom node then we move to next character and it is a and we decrement its value and then we check whether it, it is uh, less than zero or greater than zero so whether it is less than zero no so uh, we don't have to return false and in any case if it is less than zero now suppose instead of a the character is c so uh, the sk value of c is 99 and we when we subtract 97 we reach at second index so the default value present here is zero and when we decrement its value it is minus one and then when we check this condition whether it is less than zero yes in that case we return false at as this character is not available in magazine to construct a ransom node but this is not the case here is a so yes this character is available for constructing a ransom node and after the complete traversal we came out of this loop and we return true now again let's talk about its time and space complexity so if the length is n and the length of this string is m so time complexity is n plus m 
and what about its space complexity so its space complexity so we are using constant space so its space complexity is o1 so this uh, this space does not vary with the input length so that's why we are saying this is the uh, we are using constant space so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming video tutorials you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like this video